Hey y'all, welcome back to my kitchen. I'm Ashley and this week we have another seasonal round of cooking for you. In the fall, the Brussels sprout is in season all over the United States. And I'm going to show you my two favorite recipes, fried and roasted. Let's get started. We'll begin with making the roasted Brussels sprouts. We'll start with putting a pound of Brussels sprouts that have been sliced in half into a large bowl. And then we'll put in a little bit of avocado oil. So it needs to be an oil that does well in high heat, and I prefer avocado oil. We'll add a little bit of water, and that's going to help with the steaming of the Brussels sprouts to partially cook them. And then we'll add just a little sprinkle of salt and a little sprinkle of pepper. And we will toss to combine. Just gently toss them because you don't want them to fall apart in the bowl. You want them to stay intact. And then we are going to lay them on a sheet pan. This is a very simple recipe. Definitely a beginner cook <laughs> can do this, so don't be intimidated with cooking a new vegetable if you've never done Brussels sprouts before. And what I'm doing is I'm just laying the flat part onto the sheet pan so it has plenty of um, surface to roast. And then the leaves will, will cook on the other side with the steam. So we're caramelizing on this side and kind of steaming on this side. So all of the halves are flat side facing down. We'll take a few of the leaves that have separated and throw them away because they'll burn if we don't do that. Just kind of evenly space them out. Then we're going to cover the sheet pan with foil. You wanna make sure it's nice and snug because this will allow it to steam when it's cooking in the oven. So no cracks and nice and tight. We'll place these in a 500 degree preheated oven and the oven rack is in a middle to upper position. We'll let them go for 10 minutes and then we'll take the foil off and let them roast for another 10 to 12 minutes. While these are roasting, I'm gonna show you how to make a little special treat to add to the Brussels sprouts once they're finished roasting. It'll turn any Brussels sprout hater into a fan. All right, I know not everybody loves Brussels sprouts, so this is a little trick to get somebody from hating them to maybe even liking them a little to liking them a lot. I think it'll be liking them a lot. So what I do is I um, saute up some bacon and then we'll toss the cooked bacon and a little bit of the bacon fat over the Brussels sprouts once they're finished roasting in the oven. All right, the Brussels sprouts are out of the oven and they look delicious. So see how they're caramelized on one side and then tender on the other? And now we're going to transfer these to a large bowl. And now it's time to add the bacon. I'm putting in those three slices of bacon that we cooked and a little drizzle of the bacon fat, so like a, about a teaspoon. And then we'll toss it together. It just adds a little bit of moisture to the Brussels sprouts. And of course, who doesn't like bacon? <laughs> So good. The Brussels sprout, the Brussels sprout is actually nice and soft, but not in an overcooked way. It's nice and tender. And then there's a little bit of the crunch with the bacon and the caramelization of the Brussels sprouts. I would love for you to try this and tell me that you don't turn a Brussels sprout hater into a fan. Now we're gonna fry some Brussels sprouts. Now I know this might not be the healthiest way to enjoy this vegetable, but it's definitely a great way to enjoy this vegetable. So 
So we'll start out with slicing one pound of Brussels sprouts in half. Now it's really important during the frying process that these Brussels sprouts stay in half and try not to shed as many leaves as possible. So a little trick is to make sure that you keep as much of the stem intact as possible. So I'm gonna cut right down the center and try to keep that piece intact. So right down the center. So sometimes people are used to chopping off the tail and maybe the top of a vegetable, but we really want that tail to stay intact because it's what's going to keep the leaves in place. And it's okay if a few of them fall off. Contrary to other frying methods, we will be adding the Brussels sprouts in with cold frying oil. Cover the Brussels sprouts just enough with the oil, about four cups, and then we'll turn the heat on high and we'll fry the Brussels sprouts as the oil comes to temperature. Stir the Brussels sprouts throughout the cooking process. Once they've turned brown, you know that they're finished. They'll be a little limp looking, but once you take them out and strain them, they'll crisp up right away. I'm putting together a little dip to enjoy with the fried Brussels sprouts. There's nothing like a good cool and tangy dip to go with something fried. We'll begin with a half a cup of mayonnaise and you can use store-bought mayonnaise but if you'd like to make your own you can follow the episode link above and I'll walk you through how to do that. We'll do just a little bit of fresh chives. These came from my garden. enough to give a little bit of bright flavor. Then we'll add a little bit of lemon juice, a little bit of Dijon mustard, a couple of shakes of Worcestershire sauce, oops, a sprinkle of salt, sprinkle of pepper and we'll whisk that together and then we'll add the garlic powder just whisk it up till it's nice and creamy and this is a great dipping sauce for the Brussels sprouts Thanks for joining me in my kitchen today as we made Brussels sprouts two different ways. I really hope this inspires you to enjoy this seasonal treat during the fall. If you enjoyed today's episode, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. We post new content every week. Until next time, cook great food and share it with those that you love, and we'll see you soon.